Hello, welcome to our professional development training on ISTE standards for K-12 educators. I'm Torin Stanford, and I thank you for joining me today. In this training, I'll introduce you to ISTE, review the history of the ISTE standards, and discuss the current standards for both teachers and students. Let's go ahead and take a look at ISTE to start. ISTE stands for the International Society for Technology in Education. This group of educators from around the globe are passionate about technology and using it to transform teaching and learning, accelerate learning, and solve tough problems in education. ISTE provides educators with many ways to get involved, whether it is just incorporating their standards into your classroom lessons, joining for a special event, or deciding to become a member. The website provides many great resources for additional professional development, as well as connecting with other educators who have a passion for, for technology. I will link their site at the end of this presentation. Educators may also choose to participate in a certification program to earn their ISTE certification. However, there is a fee for this program. As you can see within the listings provided on the slide, there are multiple other opportunities here, some of which you do have a cost associated with, but there are many free resources as well in this organization. We're now going to take a look at the development of the ISTE standards. The first standards were developed in 1998 and have since been revised in 2007 and again in 2016. Technology has evolved and improved since the original standards were created, and therefore we need to modify them to reflect our current technology trends. The ISTE teacher standards were also re-released in 2017. So they're trying to keep up to date with what is going on in our technology system. All 50 states have adopted these standards, which are meant for teachers of all grades and areas of education. Now that you have a brief background of ISTE and the development of the standards, let's take a look at the standards themselves. There are two sections I will discuss with you today, student standards and teacher educator standards. ISTE has also developed standards for education leaders, coaches, and computational thinking. These standards are available on their website if you'd like to review them at a later time. There are seven components to the ISTE standards for educators. The first component is the learner component. Educators are always learning from others and exploring how technology can support and improve student learning. Educators are leaders, opportunities for leadership to support students and improve teaching and learning. Citizen, inspiring students to participate in the digital world with positivity and responsibility. There are many digital citizenship lessons out there that take care of this and help to teach about the importance of digital citizenship to students in this setting. Collaborator, collaborate with colleagues and students for improvement. Designer, design activities for all students regardless of ability. Facilitator, facilitate learning with technology to support student achievement. And analyst, Use the data to drive your instruction, support your students, and achieve those learning goals. The ISTE standards for students are very similar. They also have seven components, and most of them are connected directly with their titles. Empowered learner. Students actively choose, achieve, and demonstrate competency in their learning goals. Digital citizen, here it is again. Students recognize the rights, responsibilities, and opportunities within this digital world. Knowledge constructor. Students organize a variety of resources using digital tools for constructing knowledge, creating, and making meaningful learning experiences. Innovative designer. Using digital tools within the design process to identify and solve problems. Computational thinker. Developing and utilizing strategies to understand and solve problems. Creative communicator, communicating clearly and creatively using a variety of tools in the digital media. And lastly, global collaborator, using digital tools to learn and work with others around the globe. There is a link here provided that will take you to the standards. I just clicked on the student one. And on the right-hand side, there's a plus sign where we can show the additional details 
in the sections. So this will give you some more specifics if you're looking for more details about what that might mean. There are some additional details here on the website. And lastly, thank you again for listening to this presentation. I hope you feel more confident incorporating the student and educator standards into your classrooms. And for more information, you can visit the ISTE website by clicking on this link here. Thank you.